Thanks for joining us today as we take a look at how to add a weld bead to our weld mint within SOLIDWORKS. And a weld bead like the end cap, like the gusset, like we saw in previous videos, is pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. We'll just zoom into this area down here and open up the weld bead command. So we're going to get a couple options here, weld geometry or weld path. We'll cover both, but for now, let's start off with the weld path. Simply come in, pick the edge, and we can go ahead and give it a weld size, so maybe a quarter inch. And you can actually define your weld symbol here so it actually appears in your 3D model. All right. I'm just going to come in, click OK, and just like that, it adds my weld bead for me. All right. In my tree, I'm going to get a weld bead folder. So at any point in time, I can always come back and edit that weld bead. So this is a regular feature in your tree that's fully editable. So we can go ahead and repeat that for the other ones. But instead, let's talk about that other option, weld profile. So I have a corner up here. Maybe I want to weld these two corners together. Go ahead and go back into our weld bead command. Weld geometry. And basically it's weld from and weld to. So from and to. I'm going to pick this edge as my from. I'm going to pick this edge as my to. Quarter inch. And we'll hit OK here. And again, you get the same options to define weld symbols. You get the tangent propagation option as well. And when I hit OK, there's my quarter inch weld bead going from here to here. All right. Just like that. So this rolled edge right here, we can do the same thing, the from and to, or you could actually do the weld path as well. I mean, choice is yours either way, quarter inch, like so, and there's that weld bead. Do the same thing up here, pick the circular edge, weld path, like so. So very quickly, I can go ahead and come in and weld up or show where this part gets welded or how it gets welded together. So hope this took a little bit of the myth out of weld beads and hopefully you don't have any trouble creating these anymore. And if any questions, give us a shout. Thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.